Hello, my name is Dimitri. I'm a solution architect at Stream. Today I will show you CDC change data capture to Hadoop use case with a Stream application. What would be the motivation for doing something like this? Obviously, uh, people would like to replicate their oper operational sources of data row by row to Hadoop Data Hub. And the solution that Stream presents is applying inserts, updates, and deletes through CDC to HBase or Hive or other data sources. Why Stream? Today, vendors cannot easily apply inserts, updates, and deletes directly to Hadoop services without custom coding. Stream can solve this problem by easily integrating CDC readers for various sources uh, that apply data to targets. It's repeatable and it's very easy to create a new application and operate it. Today I will show you how Stream application can easily do it for HBase. Uh, I have pre-prepared, uh, pre-created uh, a bunch of tables on uh, Microsoft SQL Server, so uh, through remote desktop connection I'm connecting to my SQL Server Management Studio and here I have two tables that I will be using for the demo. Uh, one has the schema my key as a string, as an integer, and then my value as a string. And the other one has two integers, my key and my int value, and then my value. Again, my key is the primary table, uh, primary key for both of them. So now on the HBase side, if I list uh, tables that I have, you can see they have table one and two. And then I'll be working with table one through the schemaless approach where I can replicate both tables on SQL Server to the same table on uh, HBase. So if I scan the table right now, I will see that the table contains about 10 values, the different garbage value, uh, values stored in there. So um, next, I would like to show you the user interface. There are two parts to stream application. First, the flow management. So you can easily drag and drop and create the sources and the targets in here and then define your trans transformations. So um, in this case, we're working with SQL Server source and we are looking at two tables listed here, separated by semicolon and the database credentials are uh, listed in here as well. And then we're working with HBase target through HBase writer. And this is the definition for the writer. And then we separately have the monitor flow that allows us to power the user interface. So we work with the dashboard that basically can list all metadata about the uh, activity on the source tables. And then look at um, activity by operation. I also list high transaction lags, anything that fits the uh, threshold profile, let's say something that's longer than six seconds. So let me drive a couple of manual operations first. So right now on the uh, source table, uh, target table, we don't have the key 52. So let me just insert key 52 to SQL server table and then if I scan the high the H base table, I will see it on the other side. So it just made it in here. And at the same time I can update it. Let me rescan the table again. So for 52, I've just applied the value that I appended in here. And now let me delete this. Uh, row for this key. I'm rescanning again and you can see that this row value 52 is gone. And then uh, just to show that we can also deal with data at higher volumes, through my custom reader I'm gonna apply a thousand rows to my target table and it's going to take a couple of seconds. Uh, so I've, I've sent 
deletes and then thousand inserts and a thousand updates. I've actually done three thousand operations right now. Or actually, sorry, two thousand and ten and twelve. So if I rescan the table, I will see that all thousand rows have been applied. So this concludes the demo for CDC to Hadoop with a focus on HBase. Thank you very much.